Good day! You have a battery that's basically giving up and uh, you'll need to buy a new one. Well, not all is lost. You can save it and I will show you how. It doesn't matter if your battery is 12, 24, 36 or 48 volt. Let's watch it. In order to recuperate the battery, what do we need? Two things. Multimeter, and usually we have one at home. If you don't have it, buy one, it's cheap. Okay? And we will need that tool. Okay? I will show it to you a bit closer. Okay. So it, you'll see it's a very, very small tool, and what, what it does, it removes the sulfate on the on the battery and huh? with over time it clogs the battery and then it prevents the battery to charge okay so you see that's the little tool that we're gonna be using very very simple two cables black minus red plus we're gonna connect it that way and that'll be the end of the story okay but before I'll show you the steps in order to bring it back to life before we start we have first to check the the voltage of the battery huh? so on a battery like this we should have 12 volts so let's test it and see how much we have okay 4 volts 84 83 okay so that's definitely too low in order to work on the battery okay because this will work at 11 volt minimum okay so what we'll do we'll charge the battery first let's start charging okay so the plus on plus and minus on minus here we see that the needle doesn't move uh, obviously because the battery is very discharged but to make sure it's charging now we're gonna test it again and that should move there we go 16.50 okay so that should never go up when the battery is good it should never go up that way okay it should charge very uh, slowly so here we know we've got a problem so anyway we're gonna leave it like that a while and then we're gonna connect uh, our tool some time have passed so let's now check the status of the battery okay we disconnect we test it and how much we have we have 12.26 okay so we know the battery has a problem and it will fall down pretty quickly okay so now we can connect this directly on the battery the only problem is this doesn't fit on that so what I'll do I'll place uh, stuff like this on it I'll tighten it and then I'll couple this with that I've now fitted those clips on the plus and the minus huh, in order to hold the tool and what we do now we just connect it you see it's very 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 simple now it will select here the voltage of the battery the 12 volt it should here we go 12 volt now 12.1 and now it should start pulsing it will make a, a buzzing sound it will make beep 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 and uh, it should repair the battery automatically yeah let's wait for for the noise that's it can you hear it okay so now it does this cycle okay it, it will start working on the battery um, so what you will do now you will wait for the cycle to finish and then uh, you will repeat it three times uh, uh, and then you should sh you should see a very big improvement on your battery um, sometimes depending on on the state of your battery uh, it would be wise to give more cycles okay if especially if you've never done it um so here we go eh? so let's wait for the cycle to go and uh, after we'll test uh, we'll test the battery i've completed one cycle eh, which lasts about six to eight hours and now i'm charging again the battery just to see if there's a difference you remember when we charged it before it was going up to 16 volts stuff like that which is normally not correct so let's check now look at that 13.23 that's that's quite good okay that's that's more normal okay so i will continue charging it 
uh, and then I will pulse it again and as I say I will do it three times and normally my battery should be perfect that's it I've now uh, charged uh, pulsed the battery three times everything is now good I've got a good charge on it it doesn't discharge now so that's that's perfect um, now obviously if you want to buy a tool like this one you'll be able to find it on Amazon on eBay um, on normal shops I haven't seen it as yet uh, but this is a very good handy thing to have okay um, what it costs it costs about 20 euro so I think it's very worth it for the price okay so if you got a dead battery now you know what to do Okay, until then, take care of yourself. Ciao.